my god. Mike Zimmer. You need to get fired now. Fire this friggin' clown. You have a chip shot field goal to go up by eight points with under two minutes left. It would have been 29-21, I think. Yeah, 29-21. Seattle would have had to get a touchdown and two point for conversion just to tie it. And what do you do? You try to go, you try to get cute on fourth and inches. And you don't get it, knowing that they're going to get the ball back with under two minutes left. And as soon as they didn't convert and Seattle got the ball back, I knew they were going to score and win. And then your defense utterly wussed out. They did hold them to first three outs. Then on the fourth down, they converted. Then they converted another big down. You bait your defense, let Seattle march 90 plus yards to win that they should not have gotten. I'm not a Viking fan, but I will tell you what. I was the owner, I would fire Mike Zimmer right on the spot tomorrow morning. Because now you're one in four in a very competitive division this year. You've been with the team five plus years, I think, now. And you've not gotten them past the divisional round. And this year looks like it's in the books as another losing season. I can't believe I'm this mad that I'm not even a Viking fan. And uh, let me tell you what, Viking fans now, oh my god, they're, they're, probably, losing their, <laughs> they're probably losing their minds right now. I don't want to try to joke about it, but I'm sure they're on, I don't know if I want, I don't know if I want to say that, a joking matter, but I'm sure they're going ballistic right now. That, that is unacceptable. You go up by eight, under two minutes left. Of course you take the chip shot field goal. You don't chance it on a down, knowing that if you fail, the other team gets the ball back with two minutes left knowing that you're only up by five and they can score on one touchdown and win. And that's exactly what happened. Oh my god. I, Mike, oh my, I would, I, like I said, Mike Zimmer needs to be fired now. And I said, and this isn't even coming from a Viking fan. But he needs this debacle of a loss. This is one of this is one of the worst losses I've seen of the Vikings under his tenure. Maybe even worse than that. Missed field goal against Seattle f almost five years ago. But that was obviously one point and a missed field goal they should have gotten. But I mean, this this is inexcusable. What just happened tonight? And this goes out to all Viking fans now. Viking fans demand, I would demand Mike Zimmer be fired, even tomorrow morning on the spot. I, I don't know what to say, I mean, I, I mean, I'm so sorry, I mean, I'm so sorry Viking fans, you do not deserve this kind of misery that you've been suffering with for the past 40 plus years but of disappointments every single year. Whenever the year looks like it's gonna go well, it collapses in the end. And this loss, oh my God. This was, oh my God, this was so painful to watch, oh my God. And like I said, I knew as soon as they didn't convert that Seattle was gonna march right down and win. I just knew typical Vikings that they would fail to close out a game that they have in the bag. They literally snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. I want to say typical Vikings as I did. I, I've, typical Vikings. 
but they shouldn't have lost that game. No, Mike Zimmer, he needs to get fired immediately. I know they're I know it's only week five, but they're one and four. This season's pretty much over at this point for them, I believe, anyway. I don't know. I mean, I, I had to make this video quick because um, that I was so that was an appalling loss, completely inexcusable, Mike Zimmer. Those are decisions that get coaches fired. Especially when your team is not doing very good. And I think you're even in last place only. I don't know if the Lions are in last place. They're close to it, but they're not far behind them. These are decisions that get coaches fired. And you're probably going to get fired soon. If you weren't already on the hot seat, which you kind of already were at 1-3, and three, a loss like this is only going to make your seat go to El Frego. Frego? Frego, I can't pronounce the. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the term. It means boiling hot. Your your seat is boiling hot right now after this loss. I know it's late, but I'm just decided to make this little video now. But I said I'm I'm sorry, Viking fans, that you had to experience what happened there tonight. But Mike Zimmer, he needs to go. He's underachieved for the past five years. He's been with your team. He's never gotten you over the hump. It's a champ. No, he gets the championship round, but then they got blown out by the Eagles. But you can't five plus years without a Super Bowl appearance is not acceptable in my opinion. And they underachieve every year. Oh my God. <laughs> Like I said, I'm just speechless, in a way. <laughs> I mean, obviously, after just this whole year, I mean, I just saw the Lakers win the championship. Congrats on LeBron, by the way. You deserved it after everything that happened this year, I think. So, something good tonight at least happened. But that's beside the point. So, Vikings, Mike Zimmer, you need to get... This loss should be the last nail, the last straw. It should be. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm sorry, Viking fans, that you had to experience that tonight. Well, catch you later. Bye.